though some, including President Volodymyr Zelensky, in the accompanying interview paint Olena Zelenska as a woman stepping up to the great challenge of her many roles in this war. A first lady, a female role model, and increasingly, a diplomat. So Karabach was taken aback when the criticism started pouring in, particularly those about Zelenska's appearance, her too glamorous hair, the bags under her eyes, and her posture. Sit like a girl. It's inappropriate for the first lady. It's inappropriate for the women to sit like this. Leaning in, elbows on her knees, legs not zipped together. Zelenska has also been accused by some of her fellow Ukrainians of stealing the spotlight from actual women working on the front lines and promulgating a cult of personality around President Zelensky in the West. Meanwhile, overseas, the photo shoot has also been criticized simultaneously as war propaganda and making light of the conflict. A critical tweet by Houston-based podcaster Jalisa Danielle went viral. She says Vogue just didn't seem like the right vehicle for the message Zelenska may have been trying to send. To look at that and see on one hand people are saying this is very serious, a lot of crazy conflicts going on, and then to see like somebody has time to, you know, do a high fashion photo shoot, although it wasn't like, you know, high people, fashion clothes and stuff like still that. Wear clothes. That's what it's associated with. These criticisms have prompted Zelenska to defend the Sounds like shooting just she is on funds the whining of all types. Test. All sorts I'm of whining from every quarter. That I'm using every opportunity to speak about Ukraine. That was a massive opportunity because millions of people read folk. Enter hashtag sit like a girl, now being used by women all over the world in recreating Zelenska's oh, now okay. iconic front to mock, page photo. To mock Soldiers, the order, the patriarchal activists, order. Artists, they come from Putin, let's be real. And, and those hashtags come from Ukraine. Facebook. I think it's Putin's amazing. And I think it shows like the power that civil society has 